Hello everyone. Today we are going to see preterito perfecto simple irregularidades, irregularities in what you call the simple past in Spanish. Uh, and finally, at the end of the video, an idiom. There is an important group of verbs ending in sir that are irregular both in the present and in the past. We've already seen the present, so now let's see the preterito perfecto simple. These are verbs that belong to this group, and we'll see their irregularity. Conducir, to drive, to lead, depending on the context. Reducir, to reduce. Introducir, to introduce, to get into. Uh, deducir, deduct or deduce, producir, produce, reproducir, reproduce, and traducir, translate. Let's conjugate one of them because all the rest follows the same new model, let's say. Uh, it's a model within the regular verbs. Let's see. Let's see to drive or to lead, that is to say, uh, conducir. Uh, let's write, let's say, the new root. It's not the original root of the infinitive, of course, because it's irregular. But for practical purposes, let's use this as a root as the specific root for the for your simple past or preterito perfecto simple and it will be the same root in the subjunctive mood in the past the root uh, here is conduj 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 well as it's the root um, it will be always conduj so uh, I drove, conduje, you drove, condujiste, he, she drove, condujo, yo conduje, tú condujiste, él, ella condujo, nosotros condujimos, vosotros condujisteis, ustedes condujeron, Ellos, ellas, condujeron. Uh, these are the endings, of course. There is another group uh, that has this uv, uf, just before the ending. Just before these endings. And uh, some verbs that belong to this group are andar, to walk, to walk, to go, to go around. Estar, we've already seen estar. Tener. And all those that end with tener, that is to say that have a prefix and change the, the meaning, the meaning. Like uh, contener. Well, this is a group of verbs that belong to this oof ending just before the endings for each personal pronoun. So they will be, they will always be in the root. Like andar, go around, walk, go. Estar, to be, tener, to have. And many others that end with tener that is to say, they, they have a prefix uh, that changes the meaning of the verb ending in tener, like contener, contain, detener, to stop, sostener, to hold, mantener, to keep, to maintain, obtener, to get, to obtain. Let's conjugate as in this case, only one of them because they will uh, follow this 
Uve Moro. So they will follow the same conjugation. Although irregular, this can help. Let's see. Well, let's see. For, let's see. Tub. 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 It will always be tub. 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 And tub. Well, the endings will be the same uh, endings as, as here. Yo uh, tuve. I had. Tu tuviste. You had. Él, ella tuvo, nosotros tuvimos, vosotros tuvisteis, ustedes tuvieron, and finally, ellos, ellas tuvieron. Although all these verbs are irregular, as you can notice, the endings for both groups are the same. This happens in most cases in irregular, with irregular verbs in the past. Preterito perfecto simple. We'll see some exceptions, but in general, we'll, we see that this is what happens most times. Uh, I don't know why it's blurry here. Let's see. So, e, iste, iste, o, imos, imos, isteis, isteis, eron, 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 yeron, yeron. In the case of tener, we say tuvieron, we add an e. This, this is the only difference here. But in the re for the rest, it is the same. And another thing, another, and another thing that you may have noticed is that uh, the stress always falls here, no, uh, never here, with, irreg with regular verbs, sorry, with regular verbs, in some cases, it fell here, for the first person in the singular, and for the third in the singular, eh, ame, I loved, amo, he, she loved, Amaste, amamos, amasteis, amaron. In that case, uh, for these two personal pronouns, the stress fell with the regular verb. Let's see now uh, two verbs that end with sir, but are an exception to the rule because uh, they are regular only in the past, not in the present. Lucir, to look. In this, in I mean, not to look at something or someone. Uh, in this sense, uh, you looked great at the party. Uh, I looked awful last night with that suit on, for example. Or I looked very elegant last night with that suit on, etc. En balbucir, that means to stammer to say nonsense. Both are regular in the past, only in the past, not in the present. And uh, they keep the same regularity uh, for the subjunctive mood in the past when we see it. So the root will be loose, loose. I mean, I say loose because I know that uh, what, fo what follows is a vowel. Loose, loose. Luz, 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 and luz. Um, let's see the endings. As it's regular, the stress now will fall in the ending. In, for the, uh, for some personal pronouns, let's see. Yo lucí, I looked, I looked smart. With that suit on this morning. I looked awful. Uh, Lucy, luciste, lucio. In these two cases, this the stress uh, falls here. Lucimos, lucisteis, 
and lucieron. And the same happens with balbucir to stammer. It'll be the same, uh, it'll be conjugated the same way. Let's see other special cases. Um, there is a main verb within a group of verbs that is poner, to put, uh, that in the Preterito Perfecto Simple has this new root, pus. And all verbs that have poner at the end and uh, at the beginning have a prefix that changes the meaning of the verb. Uh, all of them will be conjugated the same way. Like um, componer, to compose, disponer, to provide or to dispose, Suponer, suppose, uh, reponer, replace. Uh, let's see if I had another one I don't remember. Componer, disponer, reponer, suponer, a posponer, to delay something, to postpone, posponer. All of them will have this before the ending for each personal pronoun. Let's conjugate poner. But before conjugating poner, uh, there are other verbs that I, I in, that will be, um, I mean, I will include them here. They are not exactly the same, but they have the letter U in the root in the pretérito perfecto simple. Saber to know and caber to fit both end like this before just before the ending the, the, the ending for the personal pronoun soup in the case of saber and coop in the case of caber the same in these three cases for uh, the subjunctive mood when we see it. So by bearing it in mind, it will be easier for you to uh, remember the conjugation of verbs in the subjunctive mood when we get into that conjugation. But for now, let's see this. And the verb haber... Uh, that has two translations, one of them as the auxiliary verb to have, and the other one that is only conjugated in the third personal in the singular, to mean there is, there are. We saw a video um, in which I talk about that. Uh, but for the conjugation, as an auxiliary verb, I mean, to cover all the personal pronouns, uh, just before, before the ending, we'll, we'll always find, find, sorry, we'll always find ub for each person. Let's see some conjugations. So I'm going to write the, let's say, the root. Remember, it's not the root, strictly. But for, uh, to make it easier to understand, in, the, in our simple past, it'll be the root. Pus, 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 and pus. Seven, okay. Yo puse, I put, tú pusiste, you put, él ella puso, nosotros, nosotras pusimos, vosotros, vosotras pusisteis, 
ustedes pusieron, ellos, ellas pusieron. So uh, here, ha here we have the uh, conjugation for uh, put in the past. Let's see what happens with saber, to know. So as I told you, the root will be sup. Sup. Like the soup we drink, we have. I hate soup. Soup, 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 and soup. Again, let's see the endings. Supe, yo supe, I knew. Tú supiste. Él, ella supo, nosotros, nosotras supimos. Vosotros, vosotras supisteis. Ellos, ellas, su... ustedes, ellos, ellas supieron. Um, as you can see, the endings are, are identical, are exactly the same. Uh, and let's see what happens. Um, I put a ver, a ver here because with saber and caber, for the past, we keep the Latin original P, the letra P, letter P, that in Italian is still like, in Italian it's still like this, sapere, saber, to know, but in the case of Spanish, due to Arabic influence, it's changed into V in the infinitive. But in the past, we keep it as in Latin. In this case of haber, um, well, in Italian it's avere, in French avoir. Uh, well, it's, an, it's a different case. Uh, but remember that the root here was ub. The whole conjug conjugation, I repeat, the whole conjugation is only when the meaning of haber is the same as, as the auxiliary verb to have in English. There is, there are, is only conjugated here, and it will be hubo, like this. So both the auxiliary verb and both there is, there are in Spanish are said in this per for this person, hubo. But let's see the whole conjugation as an auxiliary verb. Ube, ubiste, hubo, ubimos, ubisteis, hubieron, hubieron. A hat, 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 hat. Um, Although this conjugation belongs to what we call in Spanish preterito anterior, that is rarely used, it would be very useful to use it in my humble opinion because it, it is different from other pasts. But we won't see, see it because people don't use it anymore. It, it used to be used but not now. Um, but it's uh, very important to keep this up ending, uh, sorry, this up in the root, to keep it in mind because it will be very useful when we see the subjunctive mood. Be and besides, we use it a lot in the subjunctive mood, the same root. But as you can see, uh, no stress in final syllables anymore, as we have in regular verbs. With irregular verbs, uh, no stress in the final syllable. Um, the exception is to give dar, shodi, I gave, because that's only one syllable. 
that's why. Um, let's see special cases. Now, now I'm going to put venir to come and um, decir to say in the same group because uh, these two verbs uh, will change this e for an e. In this case, we'll also have to change as in uh, the other verbs with sir. The C for the J. Let's let's see. So the root in the past for uh, both uh, preterito perfecto simple and modo subjuntivo that we'll see later will be been 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 been. It'll not be been 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 and been. Vine, I came. Viniste, you came. Vino. Nosotros, nosotras, vinimos. Vosotros, vosotras, vinisteis. Ustedes vinieron. Ellos, ellas, vinieron. As you can see, uh, this is a regularity within the irregularity of irregular verbs. These endings are um, in more than 90% of the cases. There are exceptions that we'll see at the end of the, of the video, of course, but in general they end like this. Let's see uh, the seed. So, the root will be We'll have to make it uh, to change this E for a E, for an E, and the C for a J. Dig, 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 and dig. And let's see the endings. And I, I'm going to tell you something about this verb in particular. I said, yo dije. You said, tú dijiste. Eh, él ella dijo, nosotros, nosotras dijimos. Vosotros, vosotras dijisteis. Ustedes Ellos, ellas dijeron. Um, dije, dijiste, dijo, dijeron, dijiste. Uh, many, yes, many native speakers, na Spanish native speakers, make a mistake here. You may come to hear it if you come to Latin America or to Spain. I don't know if in Spain people make the same mistake. Some native speakers say dijeron, dijeron, but it's wrong. Don't say dijeron, please. It's dijeron, like this. Uh, so uh, in some cases we add an, an E, in others we don't. Let's see other uh, verbs. Let's see a final group and then uh, a few exceptions. Uh, traer means to bring, and um, all other verbs that have traer at the end and a prefix uh, are conjugated the same way. To bring, contraer, uh, contract, distraer, distract, retraer, retract, atraer, attract. Let's see the conjugation. Remember, it'll be the same uh, for the subject, sorry, uh, so as to learn it more easily. Uh, the root will be trach, 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 well, always trach.
I brought. Yo traje. Tú trajiste. Él trajo. Nosotros, nosotras trajimos. Vosotros, vosotras, sorry, trajisteis. And ustedes, ellos, ellas, trajeron. You may come to here, as in the other case, trajeron, but it's wrong, remember, please. It's trajeron, without the E. Um, let's see a few exceptions. Well, in the case of dar, to give, um, for the first person in the singular, the stress falls here, so it is an exception to that rule of the a ending and the no stress at all in the final syllable. In this case, it's not like that, so it's an exception. And we say, I gave, yo, so, oh, sorry, yo di. <clears throat> Uh, in this case, we are going to write only the letter D as a root because the rest will coincide with the ending for the for each pronoun. Seven, okay. Yo di, I gave, tu diste, el ella dio. The stress falls here, but without this mark. Uh, we gave, nosotros, nosotras dimos, vosotros, vosotras disteis, ustedes dieron, ellos, ellas dieron. So, uh, this is an exception, and this is the same as in the other cases that we've already seen. With the verbs ser, to be, and ir, to go. Well, many of you already know this, but they coincide. They are exactly the same. They are identically conjugated. Uh, the same here, the same happens here. We have only one syllable and no letter E, but E. And the stress is in this only syllable. So, this is an exception to, and it means, yo fui means both, I was and I went. Uh, let's write fu as the root, fu, I was, I went, fui, identical, they are identical. You were, you went, fuiste. El ella fue, nosotros, nosotras fuimos, vosotros, vosotras fuisteis. Ustedes, uh, sorry, ustedes, ellos, ellas fueron. So, uh, it's curious that something like this happens in Spanish, but it's like this. They are exactly the same in the past. And the verb to do or to make, hacer, uh, will have different um, roots depending on uh, the vowel that follows. So let's see one by one. I made or I did, depending on the context, we'll translate it into English as make or made, sorry, or did. Yo hice, tú hiciste, yeah, hiciste. In this case, The, the vowel that follows is a, is an O, an O, so we have to say el ella hizo. We have to put a Z because otherwise we'd say ico, and it's hizo. Um, 
hicimos, well I'm going to write the endings first, hicisteis, hicieron, hicieron. Uh, so it's, we'll only have to put a Z instead of a C for the third, sorry, for the third person in the singular and for all the rest we'll use the C. We made or did, nosotros, nosotras hicimos, vosotros, vosotras hicisteis, ustedes hicieron, ellos, ellas hicieron. This is uh, the, the most common, the, all these examples that we've seen today are the most common uh, for irregular verbs in the past in Spanish. This is a very common idiom in Spanish. El que se fue a Sevilla perdió su silla. It's funny because this is a rhyme. That's why we say Sevilla, Seville in Spain. Uh, literally, uh, he who went away, who left and went to or traveled to Seville, lost his chair, his or her chair. The metaphor is... Uh, so the metaphor is he or she who left doing something that has been doing up to the present and decided to quit and to stop uh, won't have or won't enjoy the benefits of being part of that something that he or she has been doing up to now he or she decided to stop, to quit, to leave. And so um, he or she is not here anymore, won't get the benefit, uh, the corresponding benefit, something like that. Uh, for example, uh, let's see an example in Spanish, how we use it. Uh, for example, something like this. If a person says, Uy, me fui del grupo y me perdí las novedades más importantes. Uh, oops, I left the group and I missed the most important news. And the other person or people say, says or say, el, I'm sorry, el que se fue a Sevilla perdió su silla. O el que se fue a Sevilla perdió su silla. Well, people, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It's very easy. You click on the red rectangle that is just under this video on the right that says uh, subscribe and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.